Hello people, today I'm going to show you how to make a melon farm because I just downloaded traps. Don't ask me how, but yeah. Alright, grab those. Um, I made different types, but they're not all 100% successful. So, what I'm going to want to do is get a random block, like I'm going to use stone. Get some dirt, a uh, piston, or eh, let's use sticky pistons. Um, redstone buttons, and then of course you're gonna need some melon or pumpkins. It just doesn't matter. Um, you're gonna need a hoe. Get up, he ho. Um, make sure it's okay, peaceful. Um. Just rearrange and okay, here we go. So the basics. Oh, I forgot the link. Alright, so the base. Let's make this The basics of the automatic melon farm is that you need a piston and just box this up. So basically, you need to put the put it right here and melon just grow into an available slot and there's my crackhead sister in the background probably can't hear her um you need to do that and then you also need to put something to power the piston also hold on right. yeah I'm doing this right um you're gonna need some water Okay, so basically, let me just review all this again. Um, you're gonna need to plan. Oh, ah, I keep wanting to improve this. Every single. <sighs> Perfect. All right. So you're gonna need water that's gonna flow to you, or just random place, whatever. And so, I need some. Bummy up. Uh, wait, did I just eat? Ooh, I'm gonna get six. Alright. Bone meal, this melon saves a lot of time. You can have some water right there. And basically, what's gonna happen is that the melon, unless it's just you have mod and or just grows on any type of block, it should grow on that block right there. And when it does, you press it, basically you just press this button and oh, let me just test if it works whoops, I gotta fix that um, so yeah it, just you test before it grows just, or whenever just like test of the pet piston pushes I think it's neater because you're gonna need the push and after that, now you put the blocks. You know, pretty and stuff. And you might want to make a little hole so you can go in there and fix stuff if necessary. But I doubt it's just a single. And I'm gonna wait until it grows. So I'll keep recording again. Probably make a bigger one. So yes, BRB. Okay guys, I'm back, and, <coughs> what's up, um, please do not hate my wonderful little pee-pee peasant voice. <laughs> Anyways, um, the melon actually grew during the time I spent d making this one, um, oops, this one right here, so let's get a video check. And anyways, now we're going to see this one in action. Now, I bet you guys are going to be saying, You could have just placed a melon block right there and I showed it in the first place. Well, I built that and it was having problems, so, yeah. So now it's going to, button's going to push and that's called the redstone, right push the piston and the melon block will panic and then turn the melon slices and go down into here. Ready? Three, two, okay, I was two. Oops, I need to fix that. 
because that's the problem with some they don't really get pushed um please if, if you're like an expert on this and you're just here to troll or something whatever tell me how to improve that because <laughs> i still need help and we got seven melons and that's basically why i told you you should leave a little slot for you to go in to get stuck sometimes and now we also have this one this is a bit more harder just considering you have to get all the melons from them like in one main stream streamline Ooh, i cannot talk today um so melon Grow right there. Meh. <laughs> oh. And now, let's oh, camouflage. Can you see it? Right. Oh, crap. It worked. Yes, I'm brilliant. I'm just supposed to be having a live. Where's my Nobel Prize? Alright. Um, as you can see, we got 16. So that's a reasonable amount. So let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3. So that's 9 and 9. 16 divided by 9 is. Oh, no. We see about like five <laughs> at a math moment. Like, I'm a serious math guy. So yeah, it's, a vertical thing is something way different and harder to do. Just well, not really hard, but just remember to make the streamline right there. So uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. And feel free to leave a good rating, comment, reply. Liking this video would really help me out. And goodbye.